hello everyone so here is a problem on circle okay so let me read the problem now draw the projections of the circular plate of negligible thickness and 50 mm diameter see 50 mm diameter resting on what resting on hp okay on a point a on the circumference okay with its plane inclined at 45 degree to HP it is 45 degree inclined to HP and the top view of the diameter passing through the resting point makes 60 degree with VP it is fine but this point which one top view of the diameter top view of the diameter passing through the resting point makes 60 degree with VP so this is one of the important points we have to take care of that I'll explain while explaining the problem okay so this is about the problem statement so now we have to construct now we have to construct one circle of 50 mm diameter in its initial position that is on HP okay so we shall construct a circle of 50 mm diameter now so diameter is 50 mm means what is the radius radius is 2.5 no so take 2.5 radius and construct a circle don't confuse don't be confused here you have to take 2.5 here not 5 okay have constructed a circle of 2.5 radius or 5 centimeter diameter or 50 mm diameter circle so now we have to divide this circle into eight parts so let me divide it and the divide line should be thin okay okay we shall divide it we shall divide it using thin lines so this is in by two parts and like this again two parts so four parts and now like this two parts six equal parts and eight parts so this is how we can divide a circle into <coughs> eight parts so now we have to name it so this will be my a b c d e f g and h so now i got the circle with eight parts right so this is the top view now we have to get its front view by projecting all the corners upwards right so now corner a this corner B and H will come in a same line. Similarly, corner C and G will come in a same line. D and F in a same line and E separately. And now we just increase the thickness of this particular line. <coughs> and now you can name it. So this will be my A dash. And next B dash within the bracket H, H dash here it is C dash within the bracket G dash and here it is D dash within the bracket F dash and at last E dash correct so H dash G dash and F dash are hidden and all other corners all other points are visible okay so now <coughs> We have to see for the inclination with respect to HP and it is 45 degree to HP. So inclination with respect to HP can be seen in VP. So in VP we have to take 45 degree inclination. So from here measure 45, 45, okay. Draw on thin infinite line, draw a thin infinite line. And now, once you draw this thin infinite line, 
we can cut the arc of this particular this particular length okay so from here to here and separately you can cut all the points cut for all the points first this point right and next a dash to c dash g dash and at last a dash to d dash f dash a dash to d dash f dash so we marked all the points now you just increase the thickness of this line and mark everything this is my a dash this is my b dash h dash this is my c dash g dash and this is my d dash f dash and last e dash correct so now to get the next view we have to project this particular thing downward and this thing forward right so project it downwards projection lines should be thin no thin lines okay downward projection similarly from this it's a forward projection this is v and p will come in a same line yes a e in a same line h and f in a same line and at last g so this is how we can get the projection lines now we have to mark for common points so a a and a are meeting here so this will be my a b and b are meeting here now so this will be my b c and c are meeting here so this will be my c d and d are meeting here so this will be my d e and e are meeting here so this will be my e f and f are meeting here so this will be my f right g and g are meeting here so this will be my g at last h and h are meeting here so this will be my h so now we got all the points how can we join these points can we use compass no actually here we have to use our free hands to join all the points but make sure that we'll get a smooth curve it should look like a ellipse it should look like an ellipse so join it like this join it like this right join it join it join it and join it right so this it should be like an ellipse in such a way that you have to join using your free hands i think you got this right so now we even got the fourth brief so now we have to check for next so we have to check for inclination of, with respect to hp now inclination with respect to vp and that is 60 degree so that inclination can be seen in hp right so now let me take that 60 inclination here so 60 degree right so 60 degree inclination right so this is 60 degree and what what about this this is 45 degree no this is 45 degree just mention it here okay so now we got the 60 degree inclination the top view of the diameter so which one is the top view of the diameter this a e so the a e should sit on this 60 degree inclined line correct so now we have to make this a e to be sit on this 60 degree line so for that i'll just mark my point a here simply 
and now I will take the measurement from A to E A to E and I will cut the arc on this 60 degree line so now this will be my E now so now taking A and E as two points we have to cut for, cut for all other points now A to H A to H and A to B will be same now so now A to H and A to B will cut both now A to H and A to B A to H and A to B so now from E cut E to H and E to B again E to H and E to B are same right so now E to H and Now E2, yes. <clears throat> so here actually A to H, okay. A to H we have taken it here and E to H we have cut. So and A to B, you know, this A to B will come this side now. A to B will come this side. Similarly, E to B. Hmm? Similarly, E to B. E to E to B. Cut it here. E to B and again A to B. Get the intersection. So this will be my B. Correct? So one side of the A will get H, one side of the A will set will get B. So I have got H and B here. So now next we'll cut for A to G. So A to G and A to C are equal again. So now A to G and A to C. Right. So now we'll take E from E also. We'll take this. So E to G. So name it as G to avoid confusion. And now E to C. E to C. Yes, we got the intersection E to C. Correct. Nice. Next, we are left with F and D. No? So now A to F will cut. A to F. A to F. So I'll almost get it here. And A to F and A to D are same. So A to D, D you will get it somewhere here. So now take both from E, E to F and E to D, E to F and E to D, both will be same, both will be same. So now E to F and E to D. So this is D and this here you will get now. This is F. Okay. Now here be very careful while cutting the arcs. It it will look somewhat clumsy. Okay. So now we got all the points. Now our job is to join for all the points. Okay. So now A to B. Again it should look like an ellipse. So join in such a way. So A to B, B to C, C to D, A to H, H to G, G to F, F to E and E to D at last. So we have to get this ellipse inclined 60 degree here. So this is how we can get the next wheel. So next to get the last position it is simple you have to project all the points upwards you have to project every point upward
from here we have to project everything forward So now the projection is done, you have to name all the points now. A and A, so this will be my A dash, B, so this will be my B dash, C and C. So this will be my C dash. So B. Okay, now the C dash, C and C. This will be my C dash. Now D, the inner side line. D and D will meet here. So this will be my D dash. E. E will meet here, E dash. So now F this line, this line. This will be my F dash. Now G G will be my inside line. So this will be my G dash. And last H will be my outside line. H dash. This is my H dash. So, in such a way, how to mark it? We'll get it. Do it properly on the sketchbook. We'll get all the points properly. So now, join all the points. Freehand. Again, freehand. A to B. B to C. <coughs> C to D. D to E, E to F, get a smooth curve, F to G, G to H and at last H to U. Okay, so this is how we can get the final view. Hope you understood this. Thank you.